Hey yo, shalom, welcome back to my channel. It's a boy to see you know the vibes, you know what time it is. We are out here, last review of the year. See put the gift, the mirror man. Man. Top shelf kiss. Amazing album. So with the gift is someone that is actually um cultivated his own lane, you know. Never really tried to like conform to to mainstream standards like we can we can talk about this album, you know. Um Mirror Man, a very reflective album, very introspective album. He's actually very open here, um on a very vibey production. I think in terms of like the production and actually what the album is, is, is about, um, I actually classify this as um, alternative hip hop because it actually have it doesn't really conform to that um, traditional rap you know standards. It has elements of pop, it has elements of funk, it has elements of rock, country, folk, you know. And I like how sonically cohesive it is, you know. Um, I like how it doesn't really conform to like um, traditional rap standards. He, that's why he actually said that it was a bit uneasy with dropping the album, because um, the album was actually supposed to come out, I think, before Low Tech last year. Finally, the album was finished in 20, probably three years ago. So, um, but yeah, it's a very beautiful album, man. And I actually like the fact that he experimented with with this um with different sounds here and they actually just sound so cohesive the replay video is very amazing man and um shout out to dj uh Kwamzi for the production and order um shout out to um the lead guitar um robert lawson shout out to uh jalina juritz on the violin you know um, and shout out to the acoustic guitar jerry um, yeah, man, I think the production here was a winner. I think Sipo actually created the whole album. So shout out to him, man. Man, like production-wise, it's very really beautiful. It's very cohesive. The fact that you find different elements of, of um, like, sonics from other other genres and just put into one sonic or pocket, and they actually make sense. They are very social, um, sonically cohesive and you wouldn't even notice that it's different um, elements, you know, of different genres on the same album, you know. So yeah, man, it's it's very beautiful dog. Yeah, shout out to Sibu the Gift, man. Um, I think in terms of like just for for him for actually taking the risk and actually dropping something like this, I I give you props, brother. You know, and I actually like the fact that he just lets out the beat just play out at the end of every song which is really dope to listen to. Um, I actually like the transitions, you know, on, on almost all the songs. That electric guitar, yo, that, that is really perfect, talk, you know. So when you get into the content, man, content-wise also, um, very open, man, it's very, it's very naked on, on this album. Pause, my nigga. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's very introspective, talk. Um, he talks about you know his uh, musical um struggles actually when he was actually coming up um like on the song emocto dog bro what does that mean because i was like what the hell what does this mean is this emocto apparently it's a prayer um he actually just goes on about how he dropped out of school in varsity he was uh he was studying um, engineering and you know, he kind of like, you know, was annoyed all, you know, he was telling his mom to be like, yo, trust me in this. And then in hindsight, it's like, yo, I'm not sure if I was actually, this was actually the right thing to do. Because now he feels like, you know, he's somewhat, you know, um, stagnant, you know, because um, financially it also has, he hasn't really ripped the rewards. And then songs like um, Alu, Aluna Mida, which is actually inspired by Tupac. Uh, letter to my unborn but also um, i think uh, and i actually saw this i actually uh, thought of uh brother ali um fahim um also it's an order to his son aluna mida it's a closer name for endless love which is obviously it's his daughter's name he had a kid this year um so i uh, congrats brother you know with the features man i think i kind of like understand why 
he he kept the fetus to a minimum here because he could, could kind of like tell that you know he wanted to tell his own story so he didn't really want to have to feature so many people here so Damar, damaris joey and jordan baker are the features here so yeah it's actually seen us here that actually just had a bit of vocals but i am there man like everything here um this album is very dope um here was a risk that actually for me um paid off because it's very sonically pleasing but at first when the when, when the singles came out um he released facts let me tell you and pink sky that was a bit uneasy bro i was a bit unsure because i was like yo what what sound is this now why is he put taking a different sound you know um i wasn't really fond of the, the, the singles if i'm being honest i didn't actually think i was gonna like this album but now listening to the whole album and how every, every song kind of like you know um fits into everything into every pocket you know i i understand you know the whole concept now and the fact that like sonically everything makes sense i think that, that i think this album is probably one of my favorite although it's been out for a month now so i like the replay build here there's so much replay build here i think that you know you kind of like get this vibey production but when you actually listen to the content that's a bit of a paradox you know because you like you get this dark you know um content you know he's kind of like you know talking about his struggles especially mirror man like mirror i literally play mirror the second part of mirror literally every day like for that that transition there yeah, though like shout out to uh robert lawson man for that guitar you know um that is just amazing that electric guitar uh shout out to jerry as well so i think i'd probably give it a nine out of ten the reason why i'm not giving it a 10 is because i'm still not fond of some of the singles he put out like especially effects and let me tell you i like pink skies i like pink skies i actually like the production especially what she liked the second part of um pink skies effects and let me tell you uh, my, my least favorite if i'm being honest you know uh the, the two back that he actually released earlier in march and feb um blessings and anxiety bro why are they not here you know i was really looking forward to you know listen to those songs here because i do feel like it's still the same concept for me man like blessings will always be my favorite favorite tip of the gift song i literally play that song every day you know but anyway man shout out to super the gift man um he's always showed me love man you know and so yeah man shalom <laughs>